messages from Spirit for the month of February 2021. And I'm going to pull some cards in three columns. The first column is your um, recent past. The second column is your present. And the third column will be your immediate future. And then I'll pull some oracle cards. So um, this is a general reading. It's not going to resonate with everyone. You can check out your moon sign and your rising sign as well as your sun sign. is nice. And last card. This is for Gemini. Okay. We have the Two of Cups at the bottom of the deck. That's the overall energy for the reading. So this could be a soulmate coming in. It could also be, and so a soulmate can be anyone. It could be family, it could be a friend. Um, it doesn't have to be romantic in nature. It could be that you're uh, reconnecting with your soulmate. Um, but I feel like in your recent past, with this Queen of Swords, you've kind of um, set some boundaries for yourself. Maybe you spoke your truth, set some boundaries, and you're taking care of yourself. You're nurturing yourself with this Queen of Pentacles some mothering energy. So I feel like you're taking the time, or you did take the time um, in your recent past to really take care of yourself and set some boundaries. You've got the Five of Swords, so that shows me that you may have some inner conflict going on. And you're going through a transition with this Death card. The Death card is really a card of rebirth, so right now you're going through a transition. It's kind of You know, it's, it's like you're moving from a turbulent waters to uh, smoother waters, or you may actually be moving locations, maybe taking a trip. But I feel like this is a transition or rebirth time for you. So you may feel like you've spent some time in, in conflict, either with a person or inner conflict, and really had to put up, put up some boundaries for yourself. During this transition period, you may feel kind of left out in the cold, like you're not with your tribe, or you don't fit in in some way. Um, but there is a new beginning. You've got the Ace of Pentacles. So this is a new beginning. This could be a new job, a new career, a new, a new way of making money, maybe a new way of, you know, it could be the start of a new business. And you've got the Ace of Swords as well. So I feel like this is um, further on in February, maybe towards the end of February. Um, you've got a new start, like a new idea, a light bulb moment. With these two Aces, it's a light bulb moment that's going to bring you a new beginning uh, financially, I think, for you. And you've got the Lover's card. So this could be that you, you're not doing this on your own but you're actually working with a significant other. Could also be a, a, a new love is coming in, but I feel like you might be doing this new beginning with your significant other or your partner. But you may feel like things are a little turbulent right now because you, you feel you're going through this transition. You're going through this movement forward. But you come out the other side with a new beginning so uh, don't fear. <laughs> and with this Two of Cups, I feel like you're, you're, you're doing this with a partner. You've also got right under that Two of Cups is the Hermit card. So I feel like it could be that you're feeling a bit like a hermit. You're doing some inner work. You know, with this Five of Pentacles, you're maybe feeling like left out in the cold, kind of doing this inner work on your own. No idea. 
idea what I'm talking about, but let's pull some guidance from spirit. And we have self-love and nurturing. So even going through this self-love, nurturing yourself, taking care of yourself, maybe with this Queen of Pentacles energy, you're, you're eating better, maybe you're exercising, really nurturing yourself, paying attention to your self-worth. And you have the happy, happy card. <laughs> and it's interesting, um, this is number 26, and this is number 26. They're both number 26. Two is about uh, partnerships or a choice. Six is about balance and harmony. And when they add up together, it's the number eight, which is all about infinity, infinite possibilities. So. This change and transition, which may be difficult to go through at the present moment, you come out the other side with the happy, happy card, with this egg of rebirth. You're birthing something new. It's a new beginning for you that's going to help you financially, I believe. And it's this, this idea that's coming up for you on what to do next. Stargazer, set your sights higher. Don't be afraid to dream big. Spirit says dream big. You're manifesting right now. Um, you may feel like this is a time in your life where you're kind of stagnating and you're not doing much, but you're manifesting and it's moving you forward. Okay, I hope that this makes sense, <laughs> Gemini. Um, I think I'm gonna leave it there. Nope, they want me to pull a dragon card. Okay, let's see what uh, the dragon wisdom has to say. Home. Home. So home is where the heart is. I feel like this transition that you're going through, right now you may feel like you don't fit in or there's something where you, you just feel left out in the cold, but Spirit wants you to know that wherever you are, <laughs> wherever your heart is, your home. It's possible you could be moving to a new home as well with this Ace of Pentacles and the Six of Swords but I just feel like um, you're home. All right, I guess I'll leave it there. Um, I think that you'll know what that means. And um, if you like these videos, please like, subscribe, and share. I'd love a comment if you resonate. And I hope that you have a great month of February. See you next time. Take care.